Hi everyone, I'm JP and I'm the creator of a tool called PlaySki. It's an ASCII art, animation, and game creation tool. And I wanted to do a quick little video here to talk about a feature that people seem to be particularly interested in, the ability to convert bitmap images, like say a photo or a drawing, into ASCII characters that you can paint and change and, you know, modify from within the program. So as far as downloading and running PlaySki, uh, the, probably the easiest way to do that is to download itch.io's app, which works a lot like Steam if you've ever used that. You can browse games and buy games and download them and install them and launch them. And that's exactly what you can do with PlaySki here. You can just search for PlaySki. It's free to download. Uh, it's an open source program and you can hit install and then you can click launch and it will just launch the program. So yeah, this is the starting document in PlaySki. Um, it's actually like a document you can paint on that just doubles as the help screen. Sort of shows you how different stuff can, shows you how things can work, um, introduces you to some of the capabilities. So in a given ASCII art document in PlaySki, um, you have uh, a character set and a color palette. The character set is just all of the different characters that it can display, and the color palette is just the number of unique colors. And every tile in this document has a background color and a foreground, it has a background color, a foreground color, and a character. And so these become important decisions. Like when, you're con when you say you want to convert a photo or something into ASCII art, the decision of what character set and color palette you choose uh, makes a pretty big difference on the final product. Um, and that's not like a, there's not like a right way or a wrong way to, to do that. It's an aesthetic choice. So yeah, let's jump in and import one of our images here. Let's go to File, Import. And there's a few different uh, formats we can import art into PlaySki from. One of them is just like a standard plain text file. Like So if you've done old school ASCII art, like in Notepad or something, you can import that into PlaySki, add color to it, whatever you want. Uh, but yeah, bitmap image is what we want here. So let's select uh, an image, like say just this image of this weird bird here. And then we can decide uh, this option screen pop that pops up gives us a few choices as to how we want to do that. We can um, we can uh, choose that we can work with the, the the color palette that we've already been working with here in this existing document, the, the in the, which in this case is the Commodore 64 palette, or we can generate a new color palette from the colors in the image. Uh, find the most find say the 16 most unique colors in the image, and then work from that. Uh, the the other big decision when you're converting uh, a, a a bitmap image into a piece of ASCII art is how many tiles large it is, because if you use uh, fewer tiles, it'll be fewer characters representing that which might look a little more abstract or glitchy, which might be what you want, or maybe you want something a little more accurate or something. So yeah, you can either say fit it into the size of the current document we've been working in, or uh, make a proportion of the source image. So if you have like a really big image that's like a few thousand pixels wide uh, from your phone, say like a, a camera phone photo or something, then yeah, you might want to reduce it down a whole lot. And the size that it's showing here in the preview is the number of tiles. So this image that we're creating would be 31 by 23 tiles. Maybe we want to go smaller than that. Um, so yeah, let's let's say let's say 25 here. And then once we select it, it will start. Um, it's generated a palette, and then it will start converting it into the colors and it goes block by block. Um, but yeah, the conversion process is pretty slow. This definitely doesn't happen like at real time. I would love to make it faster in the future, but yeah. Um, but you do get to see it like get kind of decoded into this glitchy, glitchy weird stuff uh, bit by bit, which is cool. Um, yeah, just a little bit longer. Yeah, it's doing its thing. So you can kind of see that like it is definitely capturing something about the source image, which is interesting, um, but it's also like heavily, you know, abstracted. So now we have like a fully editable piece of ASCII art that we can like paint with and make, you know, different, interesting, different color choices with and all that. I mean, this particular image that we've converted here is not very exciting. I just picked a random example from my from my uh, images. Um, some other examples of stuff that I've done here is um, like this is a background from the game Chrono Trigger that was just originally a piece of pixel art that I converted into um, that I converted into ASCII. And you can kind of see that it looks all, you know, it's sort of glitchy and weird and cool looking. This is a photograph that I took um, and uh, 
converted into this was an example of um, this palette here is uh, the 20 the two the 256 most unique colors from the photograph so as you can see here like uh, this this is a lot more accurate color reproduction and so it has a, a much more naturalistic kind of kind of feeling to it um, but yeah so those are sort of the decisions you make uh, if you want to browse the available um, color palettes that are included with play to use you can also provide your own you know just like make an image in a paint program or something um yeah and there's a whole bunch of like retro computer and video game system sorts of character sets that you can choose from uh, and then there's also uh, sorry i should say color palettes um and then there's also different uh character sets so just different retro computers and video game systems um, there's the old classic dos character set um and then yeah just some some weird stuff like some stuff with semi graphic characters this is a tile set from from pac-man so you could convert a photo of yourself into a pac-man level or something if you wanted to so anyway um all of those are all kind of the different choices that you have when you're converting something into ascii so let's say um you've got this document here and maybe you're working with it in playski and you want to like just post it somewhere as an image online um so you would go to export and uh, if it's an animation, you can export it as an animated GIF, and it will look basically exactly as it looks in PlaySki. Uh, but let's choose P PNG image, just a very common image format. Uh, and yeah, and then we can export it. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to give us a few options here as far as the output image. Um, if you want something that's just like exact pixel for pixel what the source image that you're working, the, 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 the art that you're working with here is, you can enter a scale factor of one, but uh, sometimes you'll want to like blow it up and give it like bigger, chunkier pixels uh, or just make it like, you know, large enough to be legible on a, on a modern display. Um, it also gives you an option of whether or not to turn on the CRT filter that PlaySki has on this image. So um, the CRT filter, I don't know how apparent it is from this uh, in this video, but um, PlaySki has a CRT filter that you can turn off or on at any time, and it creates this sort of uh, blur and bleed effect that's reminiscent of old computer monitors. Uh, CRT is cathode ray tube, and it lends kind of a cool like retro fuzziness to it. Um, and again, you can either turn that off or on depending on what you want. Uh, so yeah, we've exported one of our images here. And yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, you can see sort of the scan lines and the blurriness from the CRT filter. Um, but yeah, that's the basics of uh, converting images into ASCII art with PlaySki. Um, so I hope this has been clear. Um, I did this video, uh, the documentation for this, uh, for, for PlaySki is available online. You can access it from the HIO page or from my website, vectorpoem.com. And there's a whole bunch of documentation on creating art with it. Just all kinds of stuff, runs you through all the stuff. Uh, but I also created this video because I know some people like a video that just, you know, it's just some person talking talking through it. But yeah, that is PlaySki. And uh, if you like what I'm doing and you want to have a look at my other stuff, I'm on vectorpoem.com. Uh, PlaySki's development has been supported in part by people, by very nice people on the internet on patreon.com. So if you go to patreon.com slash JPL, uh, you can support what I'm doing month by month. And uh, yeah, it's really been through the support of my patrons that I've been able to make work on PlaySki off and on for a year and a half-ish now. Uh, I'm working on plenty of other projects as well. I make stuff with the Doom Engine, and uh, there's a whole bunch of projects that I am slowly working my way through, and PlaySki is just one of them. Uh, yeah, so yeah, you can also check out other videos on my YouTube channel here where I talk about stuff that I'm developing. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been useful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave something in the comments. Uh, if you make anything cool with PlaySki, then feel free to go to the PlaySki Tumblr or look at PlaySki on Twitter, at PlaySki. And uh, yeah, if you make a cool piece of art, if you convert a cool image or you paint something cool, then please submit it. Because uh, yeah, people have submitted a lot of really interesting, rad stuff on here. Um, yeah, and uh, it's great. So yeah, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, have a good one.